the pattern has been placed on the on the fabric i've also marked the one one quarter seam allowance that i used for the band for the band so the band is here it already has it has its own allowance so i'm going to cut through i'll do the same thing to the back now for the band i noticed that um i added seam allowance to it at the center front so that was a mistake except you're going to have um center um or joining at the center front you can go ahead and do that so just ignore what i did so this band is going to be cut into the front into two the back into two so this is the front i'll do the same thing to the back the skirt pattern is um the skirt um i've got the skirts um so this is the skirt and um this is a, this this is the band so the next thing i'm going to do now is to put stay on this band i'm going to be using the air stay the fabric kind of stay on the band then i'll put a little on this side of the fabric like on the um the here on the fabric itself the skirt itself so i'll put like um three inches three inches on the skirt three inches stay the same thing to that of the back and i'll put stay here i'll double this stay i'll put it on the facing and i'll also put it on the on the the main the main fabric because the fabric is soft so i need it to be firm around the waistline and after that I'll overlock, overlock the upper part, overlock the upper part, overlock the side, then overlock the band itself, the down part of the band and the upper part because it's bringing out wool. So I need to overlock everything so that it doesn't shake. So at the end of the day, after that, I'm going to join. After I do that, I'm going to join it to the the upper part the band i'll join the band to where it's supposed to be so this is the back i'll join it join the front band also one so it's going to have lining by the way so i'm going to cut the lining i'm going to be cutting the lining from straight not i'm not going to be using the pencil step metal to cut the lining i'll just cut it straight and pleat For the lining, I'm going to measure what I have here from the waistline, especially from that of the back, the waistline to this part. Of the skirt. So that will determine the length I'm, I'm that will determine the length I'm going to use for the lining. So a little bit above this uh, overlap here so i'm going to be making it um 23 22 inches and the hip is um 40 uh, 43 so 22 inches length 22 hip 43 close um close on 10 inches So that was that's what I'm going to be. That's what I'm. I'll go. Oh shit! So for the lining, I'm going to get the length from the waistline. The waistline to this part here. That will determine the length of the lining. I'll be using 22 inches. 22 inches length. Width of the lining is going to be the width of the lining is going to be the hip is 43. 43 plus um 10 inches. I'll be adding 10 inches extra. So that will give me about um 
53. So the width of the lining is 53. I'm going to cut 22 by 53 inches for the lining of the skirt. So for the skirt, I've already joined it. So let me just go through what I did. For the skirt, I had to use um I used um stay around the waistline, two and quarter inch of stay so this is it from hair to hair then the next thing i did was to put stay on the band also then after that i joined this band to the skirt then i did the same thing to the to the back i joined the center back then joined the band also to the skirt now After joining, you're going to get, make sure after joining, you measure the, the measure, check the measurements that you have. If you have, um, like for this skirt, the waist is 31 and the hip is 43. So go ahead and measure the waist to see if I have the exact measurement. Because the fabric is a bit stretchy. Okay, So when you measure 31, you cross check. So this is the hem side. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fix the zipper. Then I'll fix the, the um, lining. So for the lining, this is the facing of the skirts of the band. I'm gonna have to join it also. This is um, the zipper side. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to open it. Open it then. You take your, you can get the center front of this particular, the center front of it, of the band. Then gets you notch, you get the center front of the of the lining also. The notch. Now you take it, you pin it down. Pin it down. You're going to distribute the excess accordingly. So you pleat whatever you have divided into two or three places, then you pleat. That's what I'm going to do. Then after that, I'll be going to use the sum. After that, I will not wear the lining. So I use the, the lining to turn. I use the lining to turn the turn it into the skirt. I'll sew the band. When I get there, let us know what I need to do, what I'm going to do. So that's that for now. So I've stretched it, and this is it. I'm also gonna head to notch it. The next thing is to trim out this zip. on this I'm going to trim out this to make it more relaxed it's working so this is it and I'll do the same thing to the other side This is what the lining looks like inside. So I'll take this up. 
to see so it's aligning the next thing is a good top stitch on this top stitch and um baste it so you just need it and try to secure it before to tack it down before ironing it that's the way i like doing my hair so now we check after that i'm going to fold in the hem allowance so this is where i notched i'll use my tacking gum hem gum rather and fold it in and open the slit i'll open the slit and do that i'll bring it back so for the skirt this is what it looks like um gonna head to top stitch it then we've ironed it we've ironed it then i've also used the hem gum so this is it that's a slit So this is it. So this is the final look of the skirt. Um, this is what it looks like. And with that, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. And um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.